Howdy y'all. Um, I just got this guitar from um, one of my dad's mates uh, a few hours ago and uh, I've quickly plugged it in and it still works. I think maybe the, uh, the output jack could do with a very thorough clean but it still works. It's a, um, even though it's upside down, it's a Morris. Actually what I'll do, flip it this way. Let's go back up to the headstock, it's a Morris. Um, apparently made in Japan. If anyone knows anything about this brand, uh, leave a comment in the subjects. Leave a comment. Um, but <laughs> this is where things start to get funky. So it looks, you know, it's a it's a Strat copy. Uh, the bridge looks like, you know, well, yeah, it looks okay. Uh, now this is where things start to get funky. Look at that freaking crack. And we have another crack over here. We have, go around this side, crack. Pretty much, I'm guessing this is like, um, kind of the old Gibsons, you know, they have that sandwich body. Because you can trace that one crack, pretty much, all the way around the freaking guitar. But this is where it gets really horrendous. As soon as I saw this, I had to put it up on, uh, on Instagram. That is a fucking crack. If you know anyone who reckons they have a crack in their guitar, that is a crack. And it goes from there. So it's a good, you know, well, here's a quarter inch guitar lead. It's more than a quarter inch. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to measure that just for shits and giggles. And this crack, yeah, just pretty much goes all the way around the freaking guitar. So, um, pop it back over this way. Like I said, I've plugged it in. It does work. Um, if we have a look at the frets, the frets are low as could be. No, they are really freaking low. Um, so, just, I figured I'll bring it out here now. See if I want to let's get the truss rod moving. So it's got like a ton of relief in it. If I can let's get the truss rod moving. I'll let it sit overnight then, um, yeah. <laughs> We'll see what we can get this guitar to do. Um, basically, this guitar has been sitting, I don't know exactly how long for, but the house, the house has been empty for about eight years. Um, the house was, uh, well, pretty well burnt down, and this has been sitting in the shed under the house for at least eight years. So, yeah, I don't know whether all these cracks were due to the fire. I don't know how close this thing was to the fire. Um, I'm really not too sure, but Jesus Christ. Those cracks. Yeah, this thing's got more crack than Kim Kardashian. What a horrible ass she's got. Yeah, that's just fucking yuck. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this is gonna be, this is gonna be some fun. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So, Stay tuned. That's, that's about all I could say. I just had to at least get this one video. Um, even if the guitar didn't work, I was going to be getting some video footage of this. Um, I just freaking out. We'll get out of the light. Look at that. So I don't know when we do that. I'm probably just going to... Uh, there's not going to be too much I can do about that. Um, these smaller ones... I may try and save a bit of um, tight bond in there. At least try and seal it up a little bit. Because I think eventually, at some point, this thing's just going to come apart. And you can see that crack there. I mean, that's not very deep. But, um, yeah, that's, yeah, this, that's just a wow. <laughs> so, but you know what, it's, um, I enjoy this sort of stuff. It's, it's fucked up, but it's kind of cool. So flip it over. It says, made in Japan. Um, there's nothing on the back of the headstock. Um... Typical tremolo cavity. I tried getting that somewhat in tune, and yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the video there, and uh, <laughs> there'll be some more videos on this to come for sure. All right, um, I'll catch you later. Oh, actually, while we're here, 
four mil. I'm guessing it's four mil. Hey, let's um, let's the camera there. Okay, so what are you guys looking at? Well, that's not too bad. All right, I'll leave the camera there. Flip that over. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, well, that's a start. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this right out, clean it, get these strings off, at least loosen off, get that truss rod nut completely out, clean it, lubricate it, and uh, yeah, I like this sort of stuff. It's fucked up, but it's cool. Uh, yuck. Hopefully I don't need a tetanus shot afterwards because this is gross. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. Um, oh. Yeah, this is fun. You know it's funny though, like the shed where this... Oh, I'm going to get the video going. The shed where this guitar was taken... Oh, sorry. The shed where I got this guitar from, from my dad's mate, the shed was broken into. Um, the funny thing is, yeah, they actually left this part, I don't know why, but, uh, yeah. yeah, someone broke into the shed and took a bunch of tools, and his, um, Harley Davidson, you yeah, know, his riding jacket and all that, so, here we go, come buddy. There. Alright, well, there it is. Um, hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I will turn the camera off, unless... Oh, that's cool. Right there, guys. Alright, we have a bit of 3-in-1 oil. First thing we'll do is just... That fit down there? Oh, Jesus. Yuck. That is the spooge that comes out. So what we'll do, I'll clean on. And all we're doing, just a couple of drops, three in one oil. And what all I want to do is just try to clean and lubricate that a little bit. That is yucky. Looks better though. Yeah. Happy days, hey. Looks better. I'll we'll put a drop on that end. That's it. All I'm trying to do is just clean and sort of lubricate the thread a little bit. I'm not trying to flood it. There we go. Yuck, that is horrible. But, a little bit of throwing one on, on the outside. And I've just put like a touch, like a tiniest little drop on my finger. And I'm going to put that back in. And here's probably where the swearing begins. switch the camera off and I'm going to start swearing. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in the next video for sure. Catch ya!